This video is brought to you by. If I can get it in here right. The wonderful YouTube Garage Gang, as seen on Tom Noble Busted Knuckle Garage. Tan Noble 69 channel. Okay. First, let me show you a beautiful thing that he did for me and for us. My viewfinder's upside down, so I'm having trouble. Even I always have trouble. Look at this. I can't figure out which one is me unless it's this ugly, bald headed guy right there with a the big nose. I don't know. Anyway, he did this for me. And look, he personalized it. He threw that on there. Thank you, Mr. Noble. You're so good. Now, see, he takes incentive, or there's another word out there, but it escapes me, to uh, take care of us. And uh, we need to thank him for it because who I wouldn't have had shirts made with the YouTube Garage Gang on it. I would have known how or, or, or uh, most, mostly I wouldn't have had the, the funds to buy a bunch of shirts and, and worry about if I was going to be able to sell them to my buddies. And he don't make a dime. I'm sure he loses lots more than a dime. So, thank you very much, Mr. Tom. Whatever you say goes, my brother. Uh, oh, I was going to call him Arizona Charlie, but it's Carolina Man. He did a, a uh, sticker shout-out. And I was going to do the same. I thought it was a, a grand idea. And uh, so I'm going to have to do this quick. I don't know if you can see these boys, but I've got a pointer here from the Swiss Army. And we're going to take this down. I get this stuff because I like to give it away. I can't wear it. I'd have to wash my neck, and we know that's not going to happen. Okay, first uh, up, we've got John Kerry, 1963 Jag. He built this Jaguar and he's been driving all over the earth with that thing. And it's probably a half million dollar car. I don't know. Jaguars are, are expensive as far as I know. And of course this is a new one, Chaos Garage. Woohoo! He's very chaosy. And we got Mr. Willis Steve Garage. You know, if I had a garage, I would probably say it's Steve Garage because there's a bunch of us Steves in this thing now, but I think the Larrys and uh, somebody else is pretty prevalent. Uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of bunch of you guys out there of different with the same name. Okay, we got Steve Garage, and over here we got Mr. Heavy, Mr. Heavy Chevy, and Mrs. Heavy Chevy. I think we've teased her out. Either she's probably busy, you know, she's got like the beautiful kids and a, a husband that is added to her kid list sometimes. But Marky, he's a dandy. And his Chevrolet truck, which I remember these trucks. I was growing up a Ford man, but I ain't going to be so prejudiced that I don't appreciate. A pretty good, nice Chevrolet GMC, whatever. So, although I do like the GMCs a little better because their emblems are cuter. Other than that, and I like Firebirds better than Camaros because they actually look like a different kind of car. And I think Camaros look like uh, Challengers. They just they just cut a slot. And then put two headlights in. 
and whereas the Firebird has a little bit more, more, uh, I don't know, that it's got a beak on it and some lights and some other stuff. Even the tail lights are prettier because all they did in the in the Camaro was put two little ice ice uh, uh, ice. Anyway, they put two little square lights. They were just just like an afterthought or something. They didn't really make them look like anything besides something that was already there. But they didn't have much time, I understand. And they got better at it. But it took them to about 69 or 70 to get better at it. And uh, we got Vaporlock Vixen. She's going to build her a rat rod someday. And then we've got uh, Mr. Havy Shavy. Who the heck is Mr. Shavy? Mr. Havy Shavy. He's just, this is his second generation. We've got the famous and infamous Udizzy 69. And we've got Carolina Man. He's got all sorts of cool stuff on this sticker. I think Tony, Tony made that one. And Tony made mine. Vortex 67, he makes stickers amazingly, and he made mine, and he made a bunch of these. I think he made the one for Spongy, and he made Lucky Larry's, I think, and a bunch of them. He's really good. So is Carolina Man. Okay, we're going to go back over here. we got In Depth for Kids, building the 56 Ford pickup, one of the most famous pickups that everybody's got. Uh, I had some. And I would have another one if I had one. And Dog Buggy, 32, wonderful, sweet guy. He's got a Chevelle that he's got. And it looks just like a normal Chevelle to me. I mean, it is, it is just rough enough to look like what we had back in the day. But it has got a killer engine and everything else. He knows what he's doing. And here's Larry, another Larry. Uh, this is his early first sticker. When he was called Larry 1989 F100 F152 door, he has since changed his mind, and he's got the lucky Larry one over here. I'll show you later. This is uh, the Pontiac man, Pontiac chief. Fins up. That's him there, boys. Here's here's another concept one down here. And he sent me an, yet another one somewhere. It's even more prettier. I love this one pretty bad. It's gorgeous. Uh, it may be in the shop, in the building, in the business, in the, yeah, in Steve's garage. And we've got this Grim Reaper, which we had, I had uh, the pleasure of meeting when we went up to Greg's garage and worked on his sweet uncle's Chevrolet pickup. We had a great meet up there and I met a whole bunch of y'all. See, where is this young man? Anyway, I got to hug him. I hugged his wife a little bit longer than him because she's gorgeous. He's in Canada. Where are you? There you are. Got to hug this man. Very sweet. His wife's even sweeter, but you got to watch it. He'll knock you down. And we've got Greg's garage up there in Kansas City, Kansas. And it's right on the border. There's a Kansas City, Missouri, too. It's like Arkadelphia. Here's Scott's Garage, uh, Scott Best, one of the best Triumph men in the world. He built his wife a little, uh, a little car that I see whenever you lose your mind, it takes your memory with it. But uh, anyway, he's working on the Vitesse, I think it's a 68 or 9, it's got the big engine in it. and. Uh, He's got a beautiful family and a little Scotty dog, of course. That's another Scott. See, there's Scots everywhere. you got to watch them. 
and this is Mr. Mach 1. He does lots of stuff. He builds tractors for a living, and then he's got a salvage yard with his papa, and he's got this Mach 1 there that teases the far out of me every time he says something about it. And uh, he's just a wonderful, friendly guy. And he looks real young, but he's like ancient old. He's like 50. But he looks like he's about 30. Uh, we got Pirate Life right here. He's got a really cool thing. He's really good. He's laid back. Of course, when I get laid back, I sleep. But he's a wonderful guy. And we got Mr. Buzz. Uh, Mr. Bussey is everything. He's a Navy SEAL. He's in in uh, law enforcement. He does. He fights fires. He causes fires, and then he fights them. Uh, he does electronic stuff. He does pistol stuff, gun stuff. He's just a wonderful, rounded person. Here's Ziggy. He's in Australia. He's about. Well, he's about right there, I think, down maybe below Victoria. I don't know my Australia like I need to. Uh, lost my first wife to an Australian. Thank you. No, I don't want to cause anything like that. She's sweet. Anyway, Mr. Ziggy, he's amazing. He's uh, very bright on new stuff. I had to, uh, they had to train me when I was doing uh, doing uh, work for the for the, the uh, dealerships that I worked at, and they had to train me every month to keep up with the stuff. But this man here, he just goes to it like that. I don't know. He's just born with the gift. And then we got Mr. Framoff. I think he's in Canada. One of our good Canadian brothers to the north. He built a '79. Ford pickup that is like a show truck. It's beautiful. And it's got a big old engine in it and it does some wild stuff. He's a wonderful guy. Backyard Hot Rods. This is an early one. Mr. Pack Rack. Uh, these two boys of uh, son and, and father, they've got lots of stuff that they do. They're building all sorts of good stuff. And they've got another cool thing somewhere. Here's their other one. Now, this is their other channel, Backyard Hot Drop, the Redneck Railroad. So, this is, these are just about the same thing. Oh, I got to mention 66 L Ride, a very special person. He's not with us anymore. And uh, uh, he had ALS disease, and that's what they thought I had because my muscles are leaving me. And, uh, he, uh, he did uh, a blog while he was getting in worse shape and a brave, wonderful man. I'm not that good, but he is. And he propped me up when I needed propped up. And, uh, you know, he, if, if he can have that much strength of soul, then I've got to do what I can do to do what's right. And we should all do that. He was a very, very good mentor. Under here we got Tim's. And he don't make videos anymore. I don't know what happened to him. God bless him. He's up there with Greg in, uh, in the Kansas Cities. And uh, Tim's man blog. And this is Full Throttle 440. Now he's something else. So, but if you get Full Throttle 440, and as for Dean, or Deanie Poo, you'll get him. He's got a, uh, I think this truck here, I'm, I'm sure this truck here, and he's putting an L86940 11 engine in it out of a Corvette. And this truck is going to fly. It's going to just take, it's going to fly. Okay, Mark Sponge, he's in South Australia. He's down here, right next to Japan. Great guy. He's got a Morris Miner, just like mine, except he's got a hot rod and one with roll bars and all sorts of stuff. And I've got one with uh, cats having kittens in it and stuff. But they're kind of the same. 
Okay, we've got Love's Garage. Busman 54. This man and his wonderful son builds Volkswagens better than the Germans did. And I, even though they're from Iowa, I don't think they're German. But we can't hold that against them. Wonderful guys. And uh, they named him right, Mr. Love, because they're very sweet. Okay, here's fellow Arkansas here. Little Doggy. Little Doggy Entertainment. He does lots of stuff. He's very famous. As far as the people I know, he's probably one of the most famous ones. Uh, he's into music, I mean, promotion stuff. And he makes a salt, a smoked salt that you can put on, you can put on anything and make it better. I mean, you could eat your cell phone if you had enough salt on it. And he's a wonderful guy. He loves us. And a uh, very good daddy and husband. And he builds, he could build a knife and he does all, builds go-karts and he does this other entertainment stuff. And uh, he's just a very good, proper southern gentleman. This says the F word a lot. Anyway, we're moving right along. Here's Russ at R and R R and R Garage, I think. Double R. Double R Restorations. So I got that right. Yay! I want to make him mad because he's very strong. He he picks up his Camaro and shakes it. And it does what's right because he knows what's better. Okay, this is Hair BMW. We don't know where Hair BMW went. He either shut, cut his hair or lost his BMW. He don't make make videos anymore. Same with Bill Wynn. Once in a while he'll comment on something. And he's a wonderful guy. He just probably don't have a lot of stuff he wants to share with us. Which is probably a, a good thing. Because we can, you know, guess that he's very bright. And when I make a video, everybody knows I'm not very bright. This is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, Mr. Padre. Uh, B-U-I, B-I-U-S-I-A, 1949. I don't know what that means. But if you look real close, you can see him. This is the sticker that I'm weird, I'm scared about. Because he's got high heel, red high heels on here, up under this car. And he made this car. And uh, Mr. George is a very sweet Christian. I love him to death and his wife. And uh, uh, I think they're probably one of the many reasons that I can still walk. Because they pray for me every time they see something stupid. They think of me. And uh, that helps. I'm letting that go. He's Big Dave, Dave's Garage, stroked fire birdable. He needs to give us an update on what he's doing. He drawed this and painted it. So he's got artistic stuff leaking out of his ears. Here's the Lucky Larry. He's got the F-150. Lucky Larry over here, Larry. And this is better, Larry. I don't know if I suggested he change his name to something easier, like Lucky Larry. Or somebody else got to him before I did. But he's got Lucky Larry and he's just racking up the stuff. He's got all sorts of bolt action army rifles, which is right up my alley. I said alley. And uh, he's a, I would consider him a gunsmith. I would consider him a radio repairman, electronic guy, a uh, tube thumper. That's what we used to call him in the military. And, uh, He's liable to do anything. He's got the sweetest Enya, the sweetest grandbaby you ever saw. I've got some sweet ones too. And uh, she pops in there and says, hi. And you just your heart just goes to the floor. So anyway, that's Lucky Larry. And I lost my train of thought on what he, else he does, but he does it. And here's channel 33 with Spongy. He's in Nova Scotia. Or he was in Nova Scotia. I hope he's still in Scopey Nopey, don't you? He's in Canada, anyway. 
Volkswagen boy. Uh, I think he's got some ply mouse now he's going to work on. And, uh, and uh, he's just a wonderful, funny guy. Good guy, too. And uh, let's see. This is one wild Camaro SS. He has one wild Camaro that's just wild, and it's an SS. So check that out. It's the big body Camaro, I reckon. And this is Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Moslack. Now what the Moslack is, I don't know. I thought it was something you put on your breakfast food. But he's very... He's really good at electronics. He can build things out of nothing. He knows where all the wires and little things go. They look like ticks. Or breath mints. He'll swap them together. VW Rosterations. This guy's a foreigner, but he's a lovely foreigner. He's building Volkswagens. Sometimes he works on a van. Sometimes he works on retirement. So, that's the way that rolls. Buck's Wood Shop. Wood and whatever. That's true. Because he can do anything. He can make a bowl. I've got a bowl right over there that I'll never, that I always had. And uh, he can turn a bowl out of a, a dog bowl thing. I'm trying to keep this above board, and that's hard. And uh, he built the dash, the dash surround for my Herald. Did a beautiful job. And uh, once in a while, he'll holler at me on my phone and keep up with me. You can all do that if you want to. And uh, I love it. He tells me what he's doing and his boy. And uh, they're just a wonderful family. I love him to death. Rusty Glove Box. RG. Check him out. He can do... He built a V8 Volkswagen. He built a six-cylinder Ford pickup Model A thing Roadster outfit. He's the only one I know smart enough and brave enough to fire up a 50-year-old blowtorch. That's something to watch because it's all on fire and he says it's fine. But he does everything. He'll make a knife. He made me a beautiful knife I've got right there. Uh, he makes things out of Kydex. He makes things out of steel. He's got a forge and a chivalet and lots of stuff. So check out Mr. Lloyd. All these guys are amazing. I'd tell you if they wouldn't. Mr. Bruce, this guy, he's in Germany. But we can't hold that against him because that's where we all should probably be. He's got this huge house. He built this Jaguar, though, when he was a kid. he got this huge house. Him and Karen and Valentino and... I forget the dog's name. He's going to kick me. The dog's going to kick me. Anyway, they've got this huge house. And they're redoing it. Are they just about done if they are done now? And oh, such a beautiful couple. They're wonderful. Mr. Mr. Bruce is a very special man. He is a scientist. Of, he's a very famous scientist. he done a lot of cancer research. he done a lot of research on rabies and stuff. Developed a rabies vaccine. He's no dummy. And he has done more good for the world than... I don't know anybody else. And uh, he's gooped up in this house just smiling and grinning and, and uh, having a good time in Germany. You know, that's a place. I thought it was just, you know, something on the map, but it's actually people live there. And they live well there. And it's a beautiful place. From what I've seen of, of everywhere in Europe that I've seen, which is there a lot of people here is not from Europe. But anyway, the parts that I've seen of Europe uh, is beautiful. And I love Arkansas very well. And, it, and it's as pretty as Arkansas. It's got a little bit of everything. 
except Arkansas don't have an ocean. We've got a river. But we've got an Oklahoma, and we've got a Texas, and Louisiana. We've got lots of stuff in Arkansas. Okay, here. Mustang Connection. Mr. Rich, if you want to get close to Mustangs, and this is these are old ones too. He does some new new stuff. But he's he has got a very nice channel. It's very well produced. It's got all sorts of cool stuff whenever he starts the video and it's it's really neat the way he does that with his production and things. And it's like watching TV. It's actually that well done or better than TV. And uh, he just covers lots of stuff about Mustangs. And, you know, my first love was Mustangs. And then, uh, then Barbara Eden was next. And then Tina Turner. And then, well, anyway, Rich is a wonderful guy. He's sweet. He's big hearted. He give me shirts. Anybody that will give this old fat man a shirt is a wonderful thing. He give me more stuff than that, but. Uh, that's wonderful. Okay, we're gonna go to Scottsdale, Florida. Look at this. It took us a while to get him to get a sticker get made, but that don't mean he's got a wonderful channel. Him and his beautiful wife, uh, I've known for for a while. I don't know how many years or months or days, but quite a while. And they're sweet and wonderful. She's got a Mustang that's fast. He's got a. Uh, Carvette that is crazy fast and it sounds like a jet airplane taking off and uh, Scott can do anything he's very mechanically reclined uh, and he knows the right way to do stuff he builds engines transmissions everything he does stuff that I and I've done that stuff too but not at the level that he's done okay we got drive shaft Drew Drewberry uh, he's in Canada. He's another uh, white Canadian. And uh, he's very sweet. He's got a big old boy that looks like uh, looks like him, only younger. And uh, Drive Shaft Drew can pick the guitar and he can sing like a professional. I don't know. He may have been a professional before he retired. I don't know. But uh, he's worth watching because you never know what he's doing. We've got Shalisa Shell. She's a wonderful girl, young lady, and uh, she can start a fire with anything. But she she finds this uh, wax wood or this heavy. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that stuff that she chases down. But she does it and she does it well. And uh, she's worth taking a look at because she. She could be changing the thermostat on a citation, or she could be out there six foot up a tree knocking limbs off or something. You never know what she's doing. Midwest Motor Rider. He does a lot of Midwest and motor riding. And I think it's Midwest Motor Rider. He's got his dot com on there too. But uh, he's a wonderful guy. Another one of our motorcycle dudes along with Chuck here at Brat, old Brat Rider. And uh, I wouldn't have a white Volkswagen if it wasn't for Mr. Chuck. That's where I got it. Uh, I called it Egg, the Volkswagen, not Mr. Chuck. And, uh, of course, there's Chef Tush. Uh, Mr. Chef Tush is building a uh, another Triumph. This is a... Uh, TR-250, if I got that right, he built one of these, Triumph TR-3s, he's built one and a half. Beautiful cars, he's got a TR-6 that is like a brand new car. It's better than a brand new car because he's went farther along with it and took his time putting together a lot better than they did in Coventry. So he's got one, and he's got a TR-8 which is a TR-7 like I've got, only with a big V8 engine in it. So, he's doing some wonderful stuff. And uh, Ellen Yakov is helping him once in a while. He's got his own stuff. 
Mr. Allen has got uh, Spitfires and all sorts of other stuff that he's building. And uh, he actually drives his normally, not like I drive my Spitfire. And he's got a wonderful boy and a family and everything. And the coolest set of bib overhaul work britches that you've ever seen this side of uh, the Ukraine. Uh, so that's double teaming. They're double teaming that thing. And uh, we got Mr. Bush, Butch, Winchar, Winchar, Nicholas Restos. Once in a while, Butch will come out of the closet, not the closet, he'll come out of the woods and he'll show us something that he's working on. He likes different stuff, like I do. But like me, he gets too many things to, to accomplish. So he works on one for a while, gets tired of it, and gets something else. Just like me. And uh, God bless him, he's a heck of an artist. He draws all sorts of stuff, and he whittles stuff. And Mr. Texas Viking, he's a wonderful guy. He got, gave me a knife with my name on it, by golly. It's in my pair of pants I'd take outside, right there. And uh, he's wonderful. He's a wonderful guy. Oh, look here. Another sticker from Texas Viking. Check him out. He does welding. I thought I could weld a little bit. I ain't welding at all compared to this guy. He can take a piece of... I bet he could weld wood. He's that darn blown good. So, he is. So watch, if you want to see some real good welding, and I mean on some tough stuff, titanium, tungsten, ah, it's, I just have to hide and watch because I'm so ashamed of my welding. But uh, check him out, he's wonderful. And you'll learn a lot from him. Uh, we got Open Air Garage, which is Achilles Rising. And uh, we get the name Achilles, from uh, from the alphabet, actually. And he does stuff. He's got a Jeep Wagoneer that he's building and other stuff, too. He's a wonderful Southern man, Texan, and Captain Jerk. Uh, you got to check on Captain Jerk. I tried to get him to change his name because he's not a jerk, even though he flips you off and does all sorts and says the F word. He's not a jerk. He's just a polite little man. You're a big man. I can't tell how big he is. And uh, he sent me Godzilla, which is right over there. And uh, he loves me, and I love him. And he's got a, a young lady, and he's pretty young, too. And uh, you get to see them both sometimes. And here is Wally's Place 66. I think he used to call himself Putsy or Putz or something like that, and I didn't like it. And I counseled him on it because I thought a Putz was something that he wasn't, and he's not a Putz. Now, if he called himself something else, I'm so embarrassed. But Wally is a wonderful Christian man. He's got some great kids and a wonderful wife. And he does, there's no telling what he can do. He used to work in machine shops, he used to work at this, he can weld, he can fabricate, he can carpenter, and he is probably as fun, he's funnier than I ever thought I was. He's just funny, and the things he says is humorous, and he means it, I mean, he's not, when he's being serious, he's serious. I can't turn it off and on like him. And this is again, Mr. Tom that gave me this wonderful shirt. Busted Knuckle Garage, T-A-N-O-B-L-E 69 channel. He's building a, I guess it's a 69 channel uh, Camaro. Very, very particular. Very particular. And uh, Vortex 67, Tony. Tony Zamora. He does lots of stuff. He built a, uh, a Nova. A red Nova, of course, red is close to my to my heart, blood, and uh, now he's got a little uh, step-sided S10 pickup that he's building, and his uh, his boy 
it's got a channel too and he does cool stuff so check out Tony's Vortex 67 and I think that's about it I think I've run out of everything uh, bridge chef truck he's up here uh, one of the first stickers I got another sticker I got that I don't have here because I stuck it on on uh, some magnetized stuff and it's out there stuck on my on my cabinet but I've kept it is Stovebolt 50 Mr. Scott another Scott see I think we're over I think the Scots are running pretty neck and neck with the Larry's and stuff but there's a bunch of marks here too uh, but anyway Scott's building something it's a 50 uh, Navy yard truck and everything on it he's just doing this stuff making it weird and wacky and, and wonderful and uh, he's been working on this for a while and uh, if I die before he gets it done somebody tell me how it is how it worked because he's doing a great job every little piece he's twerking and tweaking and doing something really neat I mean he's just a really neat he's got a really nice, nice mindset on stuff he sees things differently and that's what I like but Stobolt 50 and I've got let's see who else is over there Chevy Holic and uh, he don't make videos anymore because it's hot and he's in Wisconsin and and there's just so much to do where he's at he really works a lot that's what I think he don't have time <coughs> I'm good so uh, Chevy Holic watch him too and that's how it is, Chevy Holic, C H E V Y H O L I C. I'd have put a K in it somewhere. So I guess that's it. That's it. I was gonna give a big rant about these boys this that's doing things too meticulous. And uh, I'm gonna save that for later because you know, doing things meticulous is what I used to do. Now I'm all sloppy and and I'm to get it done so I can do something different. I get it done enough, but, but a lot of these boys, if something's off this much, they'll cut the whole world off and they'll end up with it, you know, just perfect. And the car will go down the road or the boat will go down the road just as easy with the extra quarter inch on there and nobody will ever know it but them. So they're meticulous and per persnickety. I used to be that way. And now I'm not. So that's good for them and bad for me. Okay, I'm going to love you. And I do. And I'm going to shut this off because this is probably an hour. Who knows? The air conditioner's kicked on two or three times. So uh, I'm going to put this away before I hurt thyself. And I'll hit the button. Hit the button, hit the button.